I am here on location at the Ohio Center for Broadcasting where we have been told that chaos has erupted. Apparently, students are rioting over the lack of food choices in the break room. It seems that the students here at OCB are in an uproar over poor options given the vending machine in the eating area. Students feel that since the school lacks a functioning kitchen or food services, that they should be able to go off school grounds for lunch. I'm here with Ms. Amber Connolly, an employee at the Ohio Center for Broadcasting. I hear the students are rioting due to hunger pains. Can you tell me what the school plans to do about this to solve this problem? Uh, well, um, Terry Roden asked me to order pizza from Pizza Tent, but they said it'd be a 30 to 45 minute wait, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop. Thank you very much, ma'am. Stay strong. Here, you can see all of the destruction caused by the students who began rioting, some of whom are extremely hungry, and the others who are all hopped up on sugar. Excuse me, can you please tell me why all the commotion? Because we're hungry. I mean, ain't nothing to eat here but junk food and snack. Yeah, we're hungry. Unfortunately, Pizza Tent may just be a temporary fix for this situation. We are still waiting to hear back from school officials on how they plan on addressing this. However, administration members are still being held hostage in their offices. From WOCB News, I'm Taisha Johnson. The campus of the Ohio Center for Broadcasting here in Valley View has always been known as a safe and secure learning environment. Recently, this has not been the case, as a string of robberies has plagued the campus and captured the attention of students and administrators alike. Items reported missing range from wallets and purses to hubcaps and rims. Food has even been reported missing from the school cafeteria. The OCB dollar store hasn't been spared either, as it fell victim to a theft that cost the store one t-shirt and four blank CDs. Store clerk Amber Connolly has moved on from the incident, but is confident they will catch the thieves due to evidence left behind at the scene. While no arrests have been made in this case, authorities have noticed an increase in criminal activity since two turkeys have been loitering in the parking lot for a little over three weeks now. Tariq Jami is a current student of the Ohio Center for Broadcasting, and he describes a recent run-in he had with the feathered pair. Man, I'm coming into school this morning. I'm getting out of my car. I walk up to the door, and the turkey comes out of nowhere, just jumps out the bushes and attacks me. I'm like, what the heck oh, is going on? Hey, no, nah, man, I'm turkeys. I saw the whole thing. Them job turkeys hide your kids. Man, hide nobody your got time for that. Man. Tariq is offering a reward of $2.37 for anyone that returns his shoe to him in good condition. Campus officials are advising students to not feed the turkeys and to keep an eye on their personal belongings. A new policy issued today restricts students from being in the parking lot alone after dark. I'm Dan Safari reporting, WOCB News. I'm at the Ohio Center for Broadcasting in Cleveland, Ohio, where aspiring minds go to get their jump start into the world of broadcasting. Founded in 1986, the school's staff and faculty is made up of broadcasters that are still active in their community. For a couple of years now, Jeff L. Hefe Stark has been claiming he is an employee at the Ohio Center for Broadcasting always willing to help out anyone in need with a project or to answer questions of the students and faculty. But when I asked the OCB students what Jeff's official title or job was at the school, they had this to say. He's Iron Man, right? Yeah, oh my god. He always gives me tampons when I need one. Who? In fact, none of the students actually knew what it was that Jeff did at the campus. I decided to get to the bottom of the story and bring to light what Jeff Stark's job actually was. I sat down with Education Director Rachel Lee to get the cold, hard facts. Well, actually, he doesn't really have a title. Um, he kind of just shows up every day but doesn't receive a paycheck. He graduated in May of 2007 and just keeps coming back every day. He does help students with equipment issues sometimes, but for the most part, his main role is just to provide change for the vending machines. Jeff Stark. Is he an average man with an above-average heart or a simple man with too much time on his hands? One thing is clear, though. Jeff Stark is a great job at detailing a car. For WOCB News, I'm Adam Thompson. Everyday miracles happen all around us. As you'll see in this next story, between two hopeless romantics who have seemingly found love in a hopeless place. The undeniable attraction between Kaylin Haas and Ashley Carson will go down in history on the walls of the Ohio Center for Broadcasting. Me and Kaylin are great. 
their chemistry is just so cool together, you know. Kendall's a really nice guy, you know. It's like they're both mutual friends. So it's just like they chemistry and then they're bond, you know. They just make a nice little cute couple. They get along very well. Uh, they're a cute couple. They're always together. They're very uh, lovey-dovey. They did find love in a hopeless place, baby. I will say that. We're able to be in a relationship and work on our school projects together. It's kind of cool. Just stay focused, know what you want for each other and for the relationship and try to stay strong. And it's possible. Anything's possible. Kalen states that he is hopeful and excited about his relationship into the future. Reporting live for WOCB News, I'm Eli Staggerwald.